In today's video, we machine down the snout on this Northstar M122 supercharger. So how can you go about doing that? Well, first step is just take it off and send it to someone else and get them to do all the work for you. I'm not really about that and I don't really feel like pulling the snout off of this thing to be honest. I just want to whiz it down so I can make my new pulley to fit over, bring that belt alignment further back so it fits on my Toyota 1UZ V8. Now there are a few companies actually that make a tool you can just buy to do essentially what I'm going to do now, but I try and save a buck wherever I can. So that's where you use this thing to give yourself a bit of inspiration and do it yourself. So let's have a look at it. So this is the current supercharger snout. So I basically need to make this diameter here travel further back to potentially about here because currently my harmonic balancer lines up pretty much about here somewhere. So that's the aim of the game. So first step is obviously pull your pulley off. Oh, I actually tried to pull this off with a three jaw puller and I knew it was the wrong thing to do and I mounted it up pretty good, but that didn't matter. So I took out the trusty old grinder and I just cut some flats into it and then used a chisel to peel him off. So now let's go jump over on the computer and 3D print some stuff to make this all happen. All right, so this is the model I've come up with for the snout trimming tool. It's pretty basic really. The only things we needed to know was the shaft size there is three quarter and I drew the profile of the boring bar, that's it there, and this here is just an M10 by 1.5 thread to mount our threaded rod to be able to apply the spring pressure onto there. So the only important part in that whole thing basically was to get the dimensions from the uh, tip of the cutter to the shaft, which is pretty easy to measure. Um, we want to bring it down to 55 millimeters. So that was just offset from the center that far and it's ready to go. So let's whack this thing in the 3D printer and get it done. So just like that, I've got my assembled 3D printed snout trimming tool. So pretty rad. So we've got a three quarter bore here to go over the shaft. That'll just knock on. Uh, the threaded rod here basically just adjusts the spring tension against this boring bar that I've got here. So it'll push it through as the pressure releases, I guess you'd say. Um, and I can just keep tightening that nut down to keep pushing it along and apply that pressure. And then spin him on there by hand. So let's chuck it on and do that. So here we have it installed. So if I was a smarter man, I would have actually used a boring bar or a lathe tool, but I went the other direction. Uh, because some of them, the bought ones, you can buy them, you just put a drill basically into the shaft here and then you can spin it to make it do all the work for you basically. Um, but being that this is a tool that's meant to feed from the right hand side and cut left, that it's got to go counterclockwise, which means it would undo that nut if I put a drill on there. So it looks like I'll be spinning this thing many, many times by hand. So we'll give that a crack now and see how much effort it is. Alright, so I've been spinning this for about 20 minutes and I finally got rid of that first ridge on here. So this is definitely a slow process, but that first ridge there was much, much thicker than the rest of the snout. So I imagine this next bit along here won't take too long at all. So I'll keep spinning and we'll see it all finished shortly. So I'm not going to lie, that took me probably about an hour of turning this by hand to get that down to there. And it is a little chattery as you can see there, but I mean, I guess that's the nature of using a 3D printed part to do something like this. It was getting a bit of deflection as I was putting a load on it and spinning it, but I mean, it did the job. It's done, it's done good. Um, we've skimmed that down. It's not quite level with that, but I mean, it's pretty close. 
and we've got a good inch there that it's come back. So be able to now make the boss to go on the front and then make a pulley that sits over it so it lines up with their crank. So that's sweet. All right, so the conclusion, was it worth it? Well, it's skimmed down now, so that's cool. We can do the next step, which is putting on a boss on the front there and making our own custom pulley to bring that back. We've got that good inch there now, so that's cool. Um, but should you do this yourself? Well, realistically, that comes down to how much do you value your time. Um, I was willing to put a bit of time into this. It cost me maybe $5 worth of plastic to 3D print that mount and hold the tool and everything to put on there. And I sat there for probably a good part of an hour just turning that thing round and round. My hands are pretty sore by now. Um, so you can go hire the tool um, if that's what you want to do. Um, it might actually be the cheaper way if you don't have like a lathe tool or a bit of high speed steel um, that you can make your own cutting tool to, to do that. But um, it is possible. It would be better to use aluminium to make that tool. Um, and that's what the ones from ZZP and Mace, they both got aluminium bodies. Um, obviously, that would be more rigid and you wouldn't have those chattery marks like we can see on this one here. But as I said, it's going under that poly, so no one's ever going to know. So if someone, for some reason, wants the file for that, um, let me know in the comments and I'm happily send it through to you. I'm happy to help people out like that. But pretty specific to that boring bar, but hell, you could modify it and fit a bit of tool steel or something like that in there to, um, yeah, cut it down yourself and end up with the same thing. So that wraps up that. All right, so this part of the video is for the long-term fans that have been watching for a while, keeping up track with this build. Um, I know it has been a while since my last upload, and to be honest, I was kind of stuck in limbo with this thing, not knowing what to do, because um, I wasn't really a fan of that whole manifold setup with how far it sat back before, and I knew we had to do something about it. Um, I have been playing with some different CAD ideas um, off of camera, and basically decided I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna make this thing fit the car, whether I wanna leave it on there or not, um, basically see how cool we can make it. Um, so yeah, next video will hopefully be us with the pulley finish being put on here, and we'll make that new manifold, and then install it on the car, and see what it looks like. So. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.